Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to make apple pie because I got these apples free. I don't know what type of apples is this but this is perfect for my apple pie. Alright, let's get started. Alright, let's peel these apples. We need about 1 kilo for our apple pie. Also Granny Smith apples or green apple is very good for apple pie. But since it is summer here in Finland and there's a lot of apples around. So I will just use whatever apples available. And it just comes out perfectly as Granny Smith apple. So we are going to slice the apples. You slice the apple this kind of thickness. Not so thin, just like this. Try to cut it even sizes. So that it will cook the same all at the same time. All right. After we slice the apples, we have to put two tablespoon water, three fourth cup white sugar, half a teaspoon cinnamon, ground cinnamon. And let's put the fire on. Mix it all together. And we have to cook this in low heat. Let's cover it. And it takes about 20 minutes. Or until the apples become soft. Let's stir it occasionally so that it will cook evenly. So this is ready now. Um, the apples is soft already so let's drain it so let's drain the apple we are going to remove the liquid from it then let's put it back inside after you drain the excess liquid let's put heap tablespoon of jam I am using this homemade jam that my mother-in-law made this is blueberry and raspberry jam you can put marmalade or strawberry jam or whatever jam is available but I usually put strawberry jam here let's add 30 gram butter as well. so this is 30 gram of butter I put inside as well stir it around until the butter melted just like that Let's put this aside. So this is 185 gram cold butter cut into cubes. So let's do the pie crust now. This is two cups all-purpose flour. Let's put it in. And one fourth cup icing sugar or powder sugar. I will do it manually. I don't use a blender or whatever. So I just use my hand like this. If you have a food processor, it's much better and faster. You just put everything in, just process, it's a lot faster. So once it becomes crumbly, we are going to add the two egg yolk. It's not yet, almost there. Once it become like this, crumbly, we are going to add the egg yolk. If ever it's quite dry, it's, you are going to add some water. So I'm going to add 2 tablespoon cold water. So now it's nice and soft. When you feel still a bit dry, you can add 
another tablespoon of cold water. Yeah. That's bitter, a lot bitter now. Actually, I make the pie crust first and put it in the fridge while I'm preparing for the pie filling but I'm here in a country which is cold so I don't need to make it ahead and you can see it's nicely soft now okay that's done you are going to divide it into two but make sure one is bigger to the other one So after we need the pie crust, we are going to roll it. So this is the larger portion. So I'm using this baking paper to roll it so it's much easier. You have to roll it as thinly as you can brush oil or butter in your pie dish and let's put this in yeah so this is why it has to sit in into my pie dish to fit in and just cut off the excess I cross you can patch up the pie crust if you think a bit thin some parts is a bit thin Then after, poke it with a fork, just like this. Then you put the pie crust filling, which is the apples. Spread it evenly. Then we are going to roll the top. it a little bit on the side to seal anyway you can use a fork to seal it on the side like this this is the faster way I don't know what happened but my camera just gone off but just poke with the tip of the knife three holes and then brush it with milk and sprinkle some sugar on top after you brush the milk. I'm using white sugar. And that's ready to bake now. Bake the apple pie for 10 minutes with the te oven temperature of 210 degrees Celsius. And after 10 minutes, put it down. After 10 minutes, turn the oven to 180 degrees celsius and bake for another 30 minutes or until the pastry is golden brown